your body and everything people can see is only the living manifestation of the work people can see and of your mindset. So today we're gonna work on developing a mindset that can literally be dangerous for you if you go 100% in. Why would you do this? I'm gonna tell you a quick story. Every time I go to the gym, I have to hold myself back because my mind has become stronger than my body. My body couldn't bear the thing my mind could easily do. If I went in 100% and a lot of people who know me personally, they think I go in 100% and that I give a workout 100%. And I give every workout 100% of my body. But my mind could go further. My mind could do 10, 20, 50, 30 squats, 70 squats, right? It could do this because I've trained it to be that way. I've trained my mind so it's stronger than my body so I can keep going even though my body is breaking down. If you want the same results I have, which are gonna be shown on screen, you need to develop the same mindset and the same working ethic when it comes to the gym that I have. Because this is the only way things get accomplished. If you don't work hard and if your mind isn't able to go further than your body is able to do, then who are you? And to, to sort of limp all the people off who are gonna say, oh my god, he holds himself back in the gym, he's a quitter, he's just he's just talking about self-improvement and he's telling me to go 100%, but he, did, but he himself can't do it. Doctors told me that if I keep continuing with 100%, and this was while I was already holding back, so they were taking the data that was my 60%, they thought it was 100%, and they tell me if I continue to work out this way, my body will break down in five years. That's what they literally tell me. So I have to hold myself back, and on top of that, I have to also hold myself back if I listen to those doctors. Obviously, I don't because I think my body can bear a lot more things than they think I can. But you know, just to make you understand that this isn't a thing that I do to protect myself or to protect my body, but this is the thing that doctors and physicians tell me. So let's dive right in into the first tip that I can give you to increase your willpower and to and better and get a stronger mindset. The first thing is to always have your failure in front of you. Think of an addiction that you have. Think of the Rice Krispie that you love to eat. Think of the thing you binge eat on. Put that thing in front of yourself, on your desk, on your computer, somewhere where you can easily access it. And it's important that you can easily access it, right? If you can't, just grab it, remove the foil and eat it. It's too far away for this practice. Put it right in front of you, right in front of you. And you just keep it there and you learn to say no to the bad habit. You make the bad habit extremely comfortable and extremely easy to do. Extremely easy to quit. In the gym, it should be extremely easy to quit. You should just grab your stuff and go. Many people gave me this advice when I was younger that, oh, you should just hide your, your stuff in the gym, right? Hide your, hide, your, hide your fucking phone or your headphones or something somewhere, right? And then you have to stay longer in the gym. Don't bullshit yourself, don't do this. Keep everything in a way in which you could easily quit to learn to say no to quitting. Because there will be a point where you want to quit, where your brain wants to quit. And if you never learned to say no to quitting and to being a loser and to fail, you won't do it at that point, you'll just bail out. So learn to say no to bad stuff. Many people give out this advice, oh, don't surround yourself with bad people because they influence you in bad ways. Don't surround yourself with alcoholics if you try to quit alcohol, I tell you the opposite. I tell you the opposite. If you're an alcoholic right now, put yourself in a state where you drank, where you always would drink. With your friends, with your high school friends, with your with, with your army buddy, with, with some guy who always drank with him. Put yourself in the environment you always binge drank on, or however you call it, which you always got drunk, and just don't drink. Learn to say no. 
This is the first mentality. The second mentality is that you never try to do something. You either do it or you don't do it. Don't, oh, I, I tried to get the weight up. I tried to stop drinking. I, st I tried to stop this. I tried to st start self-improvement. No, there's no trying. Imagine this, you, you can't, I can't, if I, if I pick up this, this, this thing right now, this, this piece of a tree, I can't try to pick it up. I either pick it up and I do it or I throw it away and don't do it. I can either do something or don't do it. It's binary. It's not in the middle. You, you kind of try it. Trying isn't a concept that is realistic because in real life, there is no trying. If you try to do things, you will fail. If you try to get the weight up, you will fail. Because trying always says, oh, maybe I'll fail, maybe I'll win, but everything that goes my way is okay. No, no, don't try it, just do it. Because if you do it and you really do it, right? You, you don't, oh, I try to get the weight up. I try to get rich, I try to do, just do it. I try to become a YouTuber, just upload a video. What the fuck? Do the thing you know you should do. Don't try to do it. Don't try to implement the habit. Don't try to quit the bad habit. Just quit it. Many people will say it's not possible to go from one to zero in one day to quit a habit overnight, but it is possible. It is possible if you just do it. If you just put your mind to doing it, it is possible. I used to do these crazy workouts where I'd go to bed and w when I was fat and I looked in the mirror and I'm saying, I'm not gonna go to the bed without a six pack. Of course it was unrealistic and I only achieved my six pack like, like years later and I'm really proud of it. But at that time I had that mindset and I worked on my abs for like two hours straight. Like 2000 crunches, then like 10 six minute planks and all this shit, all this shit. I went through because I had the mindset of doing it and not trying it. I had the extremely impatient mindset of I either do it right now or I just don't do it. Have this mindset and just do it instead of trying it. A lot of people talk about emotional control and I don't believe in emotional control. I don't believe you should think of controlling your emotions. Don't control your emotions. Don't try that. It's impossible. Emotions can be influenced by the food you eat, literally by the food you eat. It can be influenced by the air you breathe. It can be influenced by the people around you. The only thing that no one can really influence totally is what you do. It's your actions. If your boss decides, oh, you're going to work for 20 hours tomorrow at your workplace, right? Instead of eight, we need you for 20. The only one who can determine if you go there and work for the 20 hours is you. It's not your boss who tells you to do it. He's manipulating your feelings. And if you try to control your feelings and not your actions, you will think, oh, this fucking guy, I won't do it, I won't do it, I won't do it. But if you just act and don't do it and quit your fucking job and tell this guy to get fucked, then it's your action that you control and not your feeling. So never try to control your feeling. Never try to, never try to think, oh, let me, let me try to control my feelings. First of all, you should never try. I just caught myself in, in a kind of mess up there. But don't, you, you shouldn't even do it, right? You shouldn't aspire to control your emotions because it's stupid. It's stupid because your emotions don't control your actions. And what you really want to control with controlling your feelings is controlling your actions. This is the same analogy as growing a tree and then cutting it down. Just don't plant the tree. Just rip the seed out of the ground. It doesn't make sense. You don't grow a tree just to cut it down. It doesn't make sense. And therefore, you shouldn't try to control your emotions that don't even control your actions. If I'm sad, I do the work. If I'm happy, I do the work. If I'm somewhere in between those things, I do the work and you can too. But not if you try to control your feelings. If you try to always be happy, you're gonna be miserable because you'll never be able to do that. Instead, control your actions. Control what you do and be aware that you can control everything you do. 
obviously, it's your body. It's the only thing you really have control over. Your state of mind can be manipulated by people. There have been books written on how to manipulate people. There, is, there are chemicals in the food, there are chemicals in the water that alter your brain structure. It literally is like that. I might do a separate video about this, but you have to just take my word for it this time. And you can't control your feelings, therefore, and you can't control your thought, thought process. So control your actions and just do the work regardless of how you feel. Control your actions and not your feelings or your emotions or some stupid shit. Have a nice day and be mindful. By the way, man, if you like this video, it will be a great pleasure to me if you just took your time and wrote a little comment on what I can improve slash what you like. If you want to help this project continue and if you want to help me support you with your mental health, you can click the subscribe button down below. It's free. It literally costs a second for you to click on that button and it's a burst of motivation for me. And I will surely help you if you have a problem. Just write it in the comment and I will personally write a comment back and help you as best as I can. If you want more personalized help, if you want to know how you can adapt these things into your life, if you want a sort of suited plan for you, you can go in the description. There's a link to my coaching and I will sort of tailor the plan for you to get, to get the very most out of self-improvement. Now, have a nice day and be mindful.